Hey. hey. How's Mr. Barnes? Well, he's resting comfortably in post-op. I mean, aside from a few burns, you'd never know. The guy got struck by lightning. <laughs> Anyways, hey, Epiphany, where are we with triage? Oh, the walking wounded from the expressway pile up have been treated and released. The three criticals are in surgery. We've transferred two to Mercy. Yeah. Okay. Tip for nurse's station. Hey, um, is there any word from Patrick or anyone else on Spoon Island? There was a detective here to speak to Alexis Davis. Yeah, one of the paramedics who brought her in said Dave Lansing was, uh, pinned to a wall with a sword stuck through him. Something grotesque of that nature. Uh, now, with all due respect, doctor, yeah. we have at least a dozen patients waiting to be seen down in the ER. Hmm? Okay. The DA is not one of them the last time I checked. Until he's admitted, I suggest that we focus on the patients we do have. I, uh, just talked to Commissioner Scorpio. He's going to try to get a helicopter over to Spoon Island. Now, the commissioner requests all available medical personnel. The volunteers? Yeah, I'll go. It's going to be dangerous. I'm afraid of a little bit of wind. Apparently, the weather's going to be the least of the problems. <coughs> Charlie was giving Carly CPR when I walked in. Carly, what are you doing? I told you. Who, who did this? I don't know. They came up from behind me. Are you breathing OK? Is your vision clear? It looks worse than you know what? Don't okay. pretend to be OK. Were you unconscious? Did you stop breathing? The guy choked her. She started breathing again inside of a minute. Was it your father? No. No, you know it had to be. I only caught a glimpse of the guy, okay, as he was running out of the room, but I know it wasn't my father. You know what? Listen, I can't believe any of you are buying this, all right? Carly gets strangled. Johnny happens to walk in just in time to save her. So he provides an alibi for his crazy old man who is still on the loose. No, he's not. Your father jumped off the turret. And if the fall didn't kill him, maybe the shots I fired did. How long ago did that happen? About 20 minutes ago. Then Zakara couldn't have been the one who strangled me. I'd been having blackouts all night. Losing time. getting more frequent and they last long look someone had to have hit you pretty hard to cause all of those bruises on your face and I don't know maybe if they knocked you out it would explain why you don't remember what happened she, had, she had every reason to give up on me and just walk away I knew how scared she was, Sam. But she, she just stayed with me anyway. And it cost her her luck. Excuse me. What the hell is wrong with you? Your best friend is lying there dead, and you're going to leave Nicholas with her body? So you can go after Jason? I, I doubt it. He went after Zakara. Do not pretend that you care. Thanks to you and your lies, Lucky has nothing left to lose. Lighten up, wife. I told you, I'm not gonna die in this hellhole. You just lie still. I'm not gonna let you push it anymore. Robin had a difficult time getting your heart started. Thank you, Dr. Robin. Luke, if you have another heart attack, you're probably gonna die. <laughs> nice bedside manner. Well, you need to know what you're dealing with. You have a very serious condition which requires immediate medical attention. Can't we do anything while we're waiting? Well, I'm not a cardiologist. I certainly can't perform a bypass with a butter knife and a spool of thread. You need to be in a hospital. I spent my life cheating death. He's not turning the tables on me now. Is that a helicopter? It's the police. If they can get a chopper and maybe they can get you out. Storm's abating. <laughs> so let's get the men off the island before the police come. Yes, sir. There's a backboard on the boat. Bring it up for Mr. Sakar. That won't be necessary. 
From now on, Mr. Zakar is going to fend for himself. Get moving. Congratulations. It couldn't have worked out better if you'd killed him yourself. John, your father's not dead. Yet. Johnny! Come closer. I want to see your eyes. Such beautiful brown eyes, like your mother. Take care of my roses. arrive, admit to nothing. You didn't know your father was this unbalanced, much less a threat to anyone. Who's ass are you trying to cover, Trevor, huh? Mine or yours? All right, John. Your interests are mine, and vice versa. We're gonna do this together. So you better be very careful. Screw your advice. Done with all of it. The helicopter must have landed on the north side of the property. I, I can't see around this godforsaken house. You know, Windermere is seriously making me reconsider my stance on conspicuous consumption. I mean, why the hell would anyone live in a house you need a GPS to navigate its halls? Hey, I know I must look like hell, but I, I, I tell you, I got no intention of dying. You know what, Sonny? I would like a doctor. You have opinion to stop on that. worrying. I have to stop worrying. It's a little hard, all right? You come into my life after 20 years, you tell me that you love me, and now you might possibly bleed to death. What's worse, getting shot or saying I love you? But they're both equally traumatic in their own ways. Save your father humiliation for public trial. No. Get out of the way. He can't hurt anybody now. Let me make sure of that. Get out of the way! Morgan! Drop your weapon. Put your hands up. Stand down. You want to tell us what happened here? He jumped. Before or after you put these bullet holes in him? Well, let me guess, you're not going to talk without your attorney. All right, we'll start with you. Did you see Jason Morgan shoot your father? Dad. Hi. Hi. We heard the helicopter from the barn. Are you okay? We are now. Good. Where's Robin? Last time I saw her, she was going up the stairs to help Rick. How is he? Better than Emily. Emily's dead. She was strangled. Stand back, please. I, I'm a nurse. I might be able to help. back. It's on its way. Then I'll see what I can do until it gets here. I 
I just wanted to express my deepest sympathies for the loss of your sister. If, if there's anything I can do to be the sister... Jason. I'm sorry about Emily. How long after Zakara killed her did you try to kill him? It's your fault that Lucky feels like he has nothing left to live for. I'm not going to do this. Well, my best friend is lying there. Yeah, what if I were Lucky lying there? Not that you would give a damn as long as you get Jason in the end. Oh, God, if you weren't so determined to get your pathetic revenge, Lucky would be here with Nicholas right now, helping him through the worst night of his life. <laughs> now, the truth needed to come out, Elizabeth. Now, why don't you tell him all the deceitful things you've done? Because he's been through enough already. I don't need to cause him any more no, pain. No, you don't want him to know. Because really I want. have never pretended to be perfect. Unlike you, I happen to care about what happens to Lucky. Since you obviously don't give a damn, I'll go find him myself. Pray you don't have to use this again, but just keep it close by in case. Where are you going? To get help. I'll bear it back. Listen, lie still, all right? Any additional exertion could bring on another heart attack. You be careful out there. I will. <sighs> oh, wife. Alone at last. What do you say to a little, uh, mattress tag between my half beating heart and your back? It might be kind of fun. You know, I've been so worried about you, I forgot about my back. Thank you for reminding me. Well, you know. The grass is always stronger on the other side. Oh, enough. What you need is a massage. So when we get out of here, feel free to call boy toy Ramon. See if he can fit you in. Do you know how to shut up? <laughs> the only hands I want on me are yours. Doctor's word or not, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna be fine. So you don't have to say things you normally wouldn't mean. You know? Well, too bad. I meant it. All right. I love you. God help me, what I do. I bet right now you'd, you'd wish I was anybody else, <laughs> like a banker, or a media mogul, anybody who didn't nearly get you killed. Mm, well, you saved my life tonight. And you put yours on the line for me. And that did not have to happen. This is who I am, Kate. And, and if you're waiting for me to turn into, you know, I don't know, somebody else is not going to happen. You, Carly, until we know who it was, you are not going anywhere alone. Lulu's right, Carly. Okay, you can't go wandering around the halls by yourself. I thought you didn't believe Johnny's story. I don't. All right, he's probably made it up to cover his father's tracks or his own. Johnny did not try to kill Carly, he saved her life. Then who did try and kill me? Whoever it is is still out there. Not to mention the car's men are still hanging around, too. I don't care, I need to find my husband. Then we are going together. Check the courtyard first. Why? Cops are here. They're setting up a staging area, then they're taking everybody off the island by helicopter. Sonny's probably out there. Are you coming? Go ahead. The cops have a medevac standing by. Be sure they know that your father needs to be one of the first people on there. <laughs> 